testing, testing, one, two, three. Have some brekkie. <laughs> Never saw anything like it. <laughs> Chips for breakfast <laughs> or a nice roast dinner. Yes. No, no, no. Just two? Me two. Okay. <laughs> Tourist, da? Tourist. Okay. Thank you, Do you want to ask if what is inside there? With miasa or no? Katoshka. You can share this one. Okay. I think with the coffee we probably have to take this one here. This one is chai. Bon appétit! Our little leftovers for later. Good morning! Bumblebee! Yes! <laughs> Alive and well! So normally we came in here and down the steps. Apparently we're gonna go next to the playground, through the mud and over to the petrol station. <laughs> Oh yes, let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. Off road. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fresh play. Whoops. <laughs> there you go, straight to the fuel. Yes, it was a big queue yesterday actually. Maybe they don't have fuel here. Okay, so they have petrol. Good. <laughs> okay, ready to rock and roll? Yo! Okay, let's do it. Oh! Whoops. Whoopsies. Sold it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the town of Karabutak in Kazakhstan, and it's a cold morning this morning. We are way up in the north of Kazakhstan now. Oh, birds! Oh, Whew, nearly killed some birds in the morning. Oh. Actually, we are very close now to the Russian border which is that way because over the last few days we've traversed all the way from the south all the way to the north and now we're going to be heading back south we still have a long road ahead here in Kazakhstan so let me show you guys the route for today so we are here and we're getting ever closer to our target here in Kazakhstan Aktau and today we're going to be taking this road to the city of Aktobe before taking this road south and towards the Caspian Sea. Now it really is the home stretch and we are heading now towards the Caspian Sea to get the bike and get ourselves across to Azerbaijan. I'm just super, super excited because actually it looks like that we will make it back to England and that we will make it to get the Guinness World Record, which is absolutely amazing. So this is actually the last tricky bit we have to figure out because at the moment the land borders in Azerbaijan are still closed. At the moment the idea is to put Bumblebee on a boat to Azerbaijan and then for us we may have to fly into Azerbaijan because you are allowed to fly in. You are just not allowed to cross any land borders. And then we will go to the port and pick up Bumblebee and continue from there. Yeah, and although the land border to come in is closed, uh, apparently you can still exit. So then we're going to be heading to Georgia and then to Turkey and then on to Europe. Yeah. But for today, we've got a long road. We're hoping to get to Aktau in three rides from here but each ride is going to be a pretty long one so 
yeah we're just gonna kind of get the cruise control on and see how far we can get we are aiming to ride at least 240 miles and google map says it will take us six hours it's already eight o'clock so better hit the road let's go Cool. These pancakes have, I think it's like curds inside. And we have to warm up a little bit because it's so cold. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always complaining about the heat and then about the cold. <laughs> We've managed to do a hundred miles so far. So it's going good. We've got another 36 miles and then we'll start turning south. It probably is going to warm up then. The air is so fresh, you know? It's, I feel like you can really breathe here. What's going on there? No, you can't eat that. This is like half a kilo of butter. Let the madness begin. Woo! So this here in Kazakhstan is considered a good road. Yeah, we've just passed through the city of Aktobe, picked up some groceries, picked up some fuel for Bumblebee. And now we're on the road between Aktobe and Artirao, I think the name of the place is. And we just asked some fellas at a petrol station, oh, is the road between the two, is it okay, is it good? And he said 95% good, 5% bad. But at the moment, I'm not sure which part it, this is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. It has been like this for quite a while now. Yeah, I mean, if this is 5%, then it has to get really good after this for a long time. Yes. No, it's pretty bumpy. It's, um, it's not the best road and it's pretty busy as well. Oh, and these cars yeah. don't care about us at all. Nope. No. <laughs> That's all right. Everyone is going. Yeah. Really good performance, Bumblebee. I'm so glad that we got the suspension fixed in, yeah. in Almaty. Otherwise, this would have been game over for us. Totally. But yeah, you can see it's a pretty busy road because it's the only road which connects north with the Caspian Sea. <laughs> Look at this truck. Big old hay truck. Yeah. People are really impatient, which I can totally understand. But yeah, you can see they're using like the dirt, <laughs> the dirt uh, road here as well. All available lanes. <laughs> Yoo! Skip to the front. So we're just stopping for our lunch break and I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful cemeteries they have here in Kazakhstan. We saw already a lot of these on the sides of the road as we've been riding. Wow, look how beautiful they are. I really like the, the half moon on top of every corner, like on every single grave. Yeah, wow. And as well, look, they have even uh, pictures of the people who are buried here. And there's some really like big ones in over there as well. It's crazy. It's like a whole city. Yeah. Let's but... check out the one in there. Okay. Wow. Whoa, look at that. It's like a labyrinth. It is. It's safe. <sighs> yeah, look at this one. Massive. It's pretty amazing. Wow. And it's so extensive as well. Like it goes off in all directions. Look at that. Wow. And seriously, we saw already hundreds of cemeteries like that.
we set up the chairs but it's so windy here it's unbelievably windy here so what do we got for lunch we have a nice cream cheese sandwich with a crisp topping yep michelin style there you go <laughs> and plus look we get to use our chairs amazing yeah. yeah we decided today that we were going to try to eat our own food a little bit more because even though it's pretty cheap for us to eat out here in kazakhstan but the thing is we've been eating out for breakfast lunch and dinner yeah. every single day uh -huh. so basically that's not in budget <laughs> yeah and i really miss bread and cheese <laughs> there's nothing wrong with some bread and cheese sandwiches exactly. bon appetit, bon appetit. So we're just arriving in the town which is our first idea of a place to spend the night we'll stop there and we'll have a check on the map and see if we want to go any further because it's only three o'clock so basically we've got to decide either to have an early finish or to push it a little bit more so far we've done 245 miles today and we've been on the bike nearly eight hours which is still quite a lot yeah. the place is supposed to be <clears throat> not this one yeah okay yeah this one here okay let's check it out england and the germany is too much my pupils friends how are you <laughs> johnny see you soon thank you awesome thank you <laughs> I checked the hotel and they actually had rooms available and quite cheap as well but we sort of looked at the time and it's quite early still so we've been thinking now actually to continue on and try to do a little bit more distance because to reach Aktau it's still another 12 or 13 hours this one okay perfect so in the end we decided to go a little bit further yes but it is a little bit tricky because apparently the next opportunity for a hotel is 190 miles away so <laughs> it's not just around the corner so let's see if we can make it hey or if we have to pitch up our tent The reality of riding around the world. Oli is pretty dead actually. We did a hundred miles already so now we have just a hundred more to go. In total we have done now 340 miles plus the hundred to go then we are at 440 miles. This is actually I think the most we have done in a day. <sighs> pretty crazy. I said to Oli, like, let's just pitch up the tent here, but he doesn't really like the idea. I think it's a bit too windy for camping, so I think we just got to keep going and get to this room and have a cookie. Hey, it's our first camels again! Ah! Yes! Yeah, camels! So we're just coming up to a town called Sagiz and we're hoping that there's a petrol station there because we don't have that much fuel left in the tank and there really aren't many petrol opportunities out here. Oh look, I think there is one. Yeah, looks promising. Looks promising. And we can also check if there is a room available somewhere here because there's yeah. a couple of buildings around. What does that mean? Which one? This one? No, on the other side actually. 
Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, it, it's written that Koyak Inn. We can perhaps go there and check it out. Okay, looks like we can find fuel here, which is good. Yep. The other hotel that we found on the map is still 88 miles away, one hour 44. So that would be still quite a way to go. Hotel, yeah? So apparently we have to wait for them to fill up the fuel reservoir from this tanker. We have to wait 15 minutes before we can get fuel. So they said as well that that might be a place that we can take a room? Yeah, I mean they said hotel, but another guy who was screaming in like camping. So I don't know if it's like camping, like okay. with a tent or... I saw camping written on some places, but there was no sign of any tents anywhere. So I don't know what they mean, but I mean we could pitch the tent. Or we could see if they have a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seems like the whole town cared about that the petrol is there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everybody just like sort of turned up. Yes, exactly. So we will check out now this orange building here and see if this is a hotel. Some locals told us that you can sleep there and eat there. So I wouldn't mind doing both of those things. <laughs> yes, it looks empty. Yeah, it does. It does not look no, it operational. No, let's try and see. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. No, nope. I have to jump off. Yeah, that doesn't look too easy, does it? All right. Yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That'll do. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> no? I didn't really understand. I just asked for hotel and then I made this sign for like sleeping. Seems and then, clear. And then she said, uh, yet, yet. Okay. I asked this place over there on the other side of the road and she said, da, da. Okay. So, okay, so we tried the place on the other side of the road. Yeah, last try, otherwise, we... otherwise we've got 88 miles to ride. Okay. That was quick. Yeah. Not so good. Nothing? No. Okay. So do you think we should ride? I guess we'll just ride the last 88 miles okay. and just get to this town where there's definitely going to be a hotel. Okay. <sighs> okay. They have signs on both sides that this is actually a hotel. <laughs> so strange, no? <laughs> it is a little bit strange. And the guy at the petrol station said like, yeah, yeah, this is a hotel. That's so strange because he's like there. He's like next door. Yeah. It's like his next door neighbor. And he's like, yeah, it's a hotel. And then they'd like to you. No, no, yeah. no rooms. But anyway, we're getting closer to our destination. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're left with an 88 mile ride to finish the day. Well, at least we got fuel, eh? Hey? So it's a bit of a disaster because the hotel that we're looking to get to is in a town called Matar, which is just over there. But honestly, there doesn't seem to be a road to get into this town. We already tried two ways that Maps Me suggested, but both of them were just roads that completely ended into sandy tracks. Yeah, I 
really have no idea how you can get to this place. There might be a paved road up ahead this way. I have no idea. It's super sandy around here, so we really can't tackle a sandy road. Especially this late in the day. Honestly, that's super weird. Like, there's a whole town over there, and there's no road to go in. Yeah. That's really, really odd. See, look, you've got junctions heading off towards the town, but look, they don't go anywhere. No. Okay, so we've decided to give up on Makat, and uh, we're heading to the next town, which is a little bit bigger, and it's called Dosor, and it's 20 miles further down the road. Judging by where the sun is at the moment, it's definitely going to be getting very dark by the time we get there. Anyway, let's hope Dosor has something for us. It's been a while since we've seen sunset whilst riding, hey? Yeah, I think the last time in Guatemala. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obviously not good to ride so close to it getting dark, but it's always very beautiful, though. That's true. Especially here, when you've just got this endless horizon with absolutely nothing blocking it, like no mountains, no buildings. Yeah, it's really beautiful. See you tomorrow, Sam. Bye-bye. We'll have definitely done our longest day on the bike since we started the trip today. Wow, yeah. Definitely. I think we've set a new record. Currently nearly 460 miles. And we've not even finished. Insane. Okay, we've seen this hotel on the side of the road. Which is just before the town. I mean, there is a, a big sign saying hotel and a bed, so... Yeah, exactly. Uh, please, it looks right. Please, 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 please. It looks like the right kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Okay, do you have some good news? Yes, they have a room. Yes. Awesome. Yes. 25 pounds. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit more expensive. Yes. Do they have food? They do have food. <gasps> and it's not even dark yet. So that's good. No, I'm really happy here. Okay, you go to where I need to be. And I'll get there somehow. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, camera. Okay, okay. Perfect. Good night, Bumblebee. Good night, Bumblebee. Guys, look at this room. Ta-da! Wow, this room is crazy. Look at the size of the bed and everything. I mean, it's just, whew. we got a view. The sun just disappearing. Ta-da! Two dishes, two drinks, with some bread for five pounds. 